<laughs> All right. Now there has been so many trainings this morning. Oh my gosh, it's been awesome. So I am running a few minutes late today and that's okay. So I have decided that, okay, wait here. So I'm like totally not ready for the day yet. I have no makeup on. So I figured I will attempt, hey, maybe I should start the video again, right? Sorry for dropping you. Um, gosh, I'm trying to get this thing. Good morning, good morning. All right, trying to get this squared away. So I'm gonna put my makeup on at the same time. Doesn't mean I'm gonna be good at it, just means that um, I'm gonna attempt to, okay? So if I'm not looking up, then I'm sorry. Okay, so holding. Okay, so first of all, if you wanna share this with everybody, I'm gonna teach you today, or I'm gonna share with you today, how to have a big open house, big launch event for the spring, okay? Um, because you know what? And this doesn't stop any of your business. This is one of those four, the, the things that you think about in the future, because like I told you, I am one of those people that is always thinking about what is next, what's coming in the next three months. So that's the thought process that you should have. So if you want to know how to have a big event for our catalog release in March, then this is what you need to work on now because it's mid-January and for real, that's only two months away. Okay. That's two months away. All right. And to be honest with you, that's going to be like, it'll be here in two seconds. And so you want to start planning now for that event. That's how you have success. Okay. So like I said, you can share. Now, I love hearts. The more hearts I get, the more relevant I know, then the more communication. And so you can ask questions during it. I will see if I can respond to them because sometimes I don't read as fast as it goes. So that's why I like to wait to the end. So um, anyway, so just so you know, I already put my primer on. Um, so now I'm going to put my my foundation on and stuff. So um, I actually have to mix like two colors. I have to mix organza and um, and satin. And I have the satin somewhere else. So I'm just going to put organza on this morning. Okay, so having our big, big um, event. So the first thing you need to know is that um, March... March 1st, or March, you know, they haven't given us a, a real date yet. Um, March is when the new catalog comes out. Ooh, ooh, can I hear a, a lots of hearts for that? Because I am like, I am such a fan of new products. You can't, you don't even understand. I love new products. Oh, I don't know if you can see, that's my baby brother. He's posting that I'm awesome and I love him so much. So I was so mean to him because I was a big old leadership and training bully kind of bossy sister. I know that surprises you all, doesn't it? But I love him. Um, so um, anyway, I'm putting it on the back of my hand. Um, I am with Unique Products. I am a black status presenter with Unique Products. My website is www.lalashqueen.com, like la, la, lash queen, like a singing lash queen. So um, dot com and you can go. So anyway, um, new products come out, new stuff, fabulous things. And I love it. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to do the, be able to do this at the same time, you guys, but I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to do this. So I'm going to cheat because I thought that I would be able to talk and do this at the same time, but I can't. So Okay, so here we go to make me fancy. And we'll do this because I don't like having pale lips in a video. Okay. Now I can focus. Okay, so here's the deal. A big event. So the catalog comes out on the um, 30, the 1st of March, okay? Brand new products. It's going to be fantastic and awesome. Okay. Love it. Now. All right. So knowing that, okay, that means that you're going to have to plan your spring launch the end of March. Now here's the thing. 
Easter's at the end of spring, at the end of March this year, and so is spring break. So you're going to kind of have to play with those dates a little bit. Like in my mind's eye, I see the perfect weekend as like the 17th and 20th weekend. Now, I sing in a four-part acapella harmony chorus, and guess what? That's the weekend, dun dun, that I can't do because I am competing that weekend. But that is, um, does it matter? Yes, this is a, I am specifically talking about having an event somewhere, whether it's in your home or at a place or somebody else's home. Okay, so this is what I'm, I'm talking specific product launch for like event at your house. Okay. Or like I said, or a place. Um, now, so you pick one of those dates. Now, this is my favorite way to do it. I like to invite all of my local presenters that I have to be a part with me, that we do this as a team, because we're going to invite as many people as possible. I mean, this is going to be a shindig, okay? And the more people are there, the more the energy grows. And so like they invite their people, they invite their people. So if you have somebody that has a nice home or a home that can do that, then I would say do that. Or if there's like a community center that you can do it in for like relatively really cheap, then do it there. Or um, you can even do it at a restaurant or somewhere. But I like the home feel. That's just my own. So find somebody or yourself that you can do it in your home. And you know, and you're going to want to make sure that your house is like put together so that you can do this so that you have an area. And I don't mean like it has to be immaculately decorated, but I mean, it needs to just be clean, right? So, because you want people to be comfortable to come in. So, okay, so you're going to pick that date. So pick it in March, okay? Now, here's the key. This is why I say that you really want it towards the latter half is because on March 1st, when all the new products are launched, you need to order samples. You need to have at least one of everything that's possible. Um, now, this is how you get around it. So you're like, oh my God, Jen, I don't have that much money. Or here's the thing. You start saving your Y cash, okay, for that. The other thing too is that the more people you have there or the more presenters you have, the more you can delegate who's getting what. Okay, so you can decide that morning. Okay, so now you get one of this and you get one of that and you get one of that and you get one of that. You know what I mean? So then, then, then that way you have at least one of whatever it is, okay? So that you're sharing it. So if it's not in your budget, then don't stress. That's why you do it with more people so that the finances and the costs are cut down, okay? So, and the other thing too is that you can do it a couple different ways. So like at my house, I have this huge counter. Now, not everybody has a huge counter to do that at. So what you do is you get tables and you have sections of tables around the house and you have different presenters around the house, like the foundation table where somebody's really loves color matching and then you can have all the different foundations and all the different concealers. You can have the skincare set. You can have the lip area. You can have the eye area. So you have different presenters at different things and everybody walks through with an order sheet, right? And they go, or you hand them they won't have the, well, see, that's the thing is that you want them to have the brand new catalogs. And as they walk in, like, here's their gift, they get a brand new catalog. So they can literally walk through and you can give them stickers for each one of the, each one of the, the things that they've seen. Like, yeah, we've been to the lips table, right? So we put a sticker on the lips table and then they can circle through and highlight all those fabulous things that they like. Okay. And at the end, then, then they can then somebody is going to be at the register, like the cash register table and do the money. Okay. Or they go to their presenter and their presenter closes it for them. Um, and you know what I mean? And you can have them, they pull out their phones, you have a party open, you say mystery hostess, they order from those parties and they go from there. Okay. So, um, and then, and then of course, okay. So you have to have a presenter kit table. Okay. And, um, yes, I, somebody just asked me if I'll have this on YouTube. Yes, I will upload it to YouTube. Um, and some, you have to have a presenter table and, and then, or here's the other thing. If you know your people are coming, you can schedule times for them to come and you can walk them through all those stations yourself if you want to do that. Um, 
So do you know what status? I know they're working on it. I know I have it right now. Um, I know that they're tweaking it and I don't know. I think it'll be ready um, for the masses, um, but I go to the Black Status Retreat for the Lash and Carry app next week. So that'll be a question I ask, okay? So, so okay, so that is your your little your little tables, okay? Do we know? Um, somebody just asked if I know if any products are going away. Um, I do know that some are going to be retired. I have no idea which ones. Um, not, I, I have no clue. So, um, sorry. The ones that are going away are probably the ones that don't sell. Okay. As much. So just, they're not going to, you know, get rid of anything. So, all right. So back to all your little stations. Okay. So that you walk around people and then you get everybody helping everybody. So the other thing too, is that you want to make sure that there's food and drink. So. I want to tell you what I did at my last spring fling event, all right? And it was an absolute, in my opinion, success. And I think it could be bitter, bigger. I got a food truck to come to my house, okay? <laughs> I literally contacted a, you know, a food truck, a crepe truck to come to my house and she parked outside. And I said, you know what? I invited a bunch of people. I have a bunch of people coming. I really don't know what the minute, how many people are going to come. I said, however, um, there's a food truck. You know what I mean? And you could buy drinks and you could buy, you could buy that. Now I did, did I have a little case of water? Yeah, I did. So I had them come and they came outside and they were outside of my house and it was awesome. Now, the other thing that I, and I'll, and I'll talk about that. I'll talk about that in a second. So I had a food truck. I also invited a um, boutique truck. So there's like, there's a fashion boutique, like a little, little like, you know, a, a what do you call it? Um, like a food truck, but it's clothes and purses and jewelry. And so they had, it's um, called the, the, uh, Oh my gosh, I'm not remembering the name of it. It's like the the something boutique. Oh my gosh, I'll remember later. But anyway, bright pink truck and they had clothes and they had um they they had stuff that people could go into this truck and and shop. Now there's purse trucks like that. There's all these kind of things, okay? So go out there and start looking. Now, walk in boutique. Thank you, Jen. So um it was great. So then I had my neighbor who makes handmade jewelry, okay, down the street. She's like two, like the next house, two doors down. She had her house open with her handmade jewelry. Okay, so this became like a bigger event than just my thing. Now here's the key, okay? <laughs> Take notes. This is the key to it. I did not have any other direct sailors there, okay? It was me and regular retailers. Why? Because I am in the business of sponsoring people into my business. So if I would have had a Jamberry Nails girl there or a 31 bag girl there, then yes, that is supporting them, but they are in the process of doing the same thing that I am. And I want them to see that I am where they want to be, okay? So that is why I say no other direct salespeople. Now, the other cool thing that I had in the house, and you can do this, you could find somebody who needs the hours for massage, or I had a gal come and she did eyebrow threading, right? So they came in and they made an appointment, and so they could get their eyebrows threaded, they came and played with makeup, they were able to go shopping for purses and jewelry and, and other stuff, and they had a blast, now, here what was what was really fun is that I was able to advertise this event in some of our local area like Women in Business and other groups because it became a neighborhood thing, not just my event. And I was able to plug, you want to make sure you come and have a crepe. You want to make sure that you come into the walk-in boutique. You want to make it. So it became about me. And yes, people have so much budget, but it opened up a wide range of people that were going to come. And it was a very successful event. Now, do you have to do all that? No, you don't. You can just do you, invite all your presenters, you know what I mean, and have them invite people, yes. But if we're about networking, if you're about networking, then you want to open it up a little bit to the walk-in boutique clients, 
right? So like the little, or the food truck clients or whoever, or the jewelry clients, you want these new, you know, they're also part of it. So it's like, I'm sharing my clients and my people with the walk-in boutique, the fashion boutique truck, also with the crepe truck, also with the jewelry people and the neighborhood people, because we called it a ladies day out. So a, a, a shopping day out, you know, especially in the spring. And it was a beautiful day. And we're here in Colorado. And sometimes it's not so beautiful. So with March coming up, I really recommend that you pick a day, start planning with your people, you know, with your presenters and with local people around you to create event. The more people there are, the more exciting it is and the more fun you have. I mean, it was great, you guys. It was so much fun. And I'm so excited to do another one. Actually, So that makes me think I need to contact the Crepe Truck and the Walk-In Boutique again and say, hey, I need another date. So, um, all right. So what kind of questions do you guys have for me? Hmm. I, I'll wait because I know it takes a minute to type. But... Seriously, it is, it is, they're, they are really, these kind of events are the ones that you want to plan this far out in advance. So, um, and so I'm talking at the end, end of March is when I would have it. Not near Easter, like keep it on not an Easter weekend and spring break weekend. Make sure that that's, and so everybody's is different. You might have to wait until the first part of April. It's just what is. But if, because if you order the new products, you're going to want to do, um, seriously, you're going to want to order the new products on the first so that you get them as soon as possible because it is going to be busy and it will take probably the seven to 10 business days for you to get your products and your new catalogs. All right, girls, I guess there's no questions today. Where would you advertise? I would advertise on social media. So like I would advertise in your local women in business and your different networking groups and in your community um, and say, this is the event. And I probably blasted it for about a month, you know, like the first, the first couple of weeks, I kind of did it a few days, you know, like maybe every week for like two weeks here it's coming. And I made an event in Facebook. And then um, I made an event in Facebook, and then I shared the event to those those groups. I mean, you could do it a bunch of different ways, but mainly social media. I got my glasses at Party City because I don't have my makeup on, and I was getting distracted, and I couldn't do two things at once. So I cheated today. So anyway, public event. Yes, public event. Absolutely. So that everybody would see it. So, and like, it's not like we advertise deals or anything like that. We just said, um, block party mom's day out, you know, ladies, ladies night, ladies day out. And you know, what was really funny is that like people were bringing their spouses and their whole families and they were eating at the food truck and then the moms would come in and the, I mean, it was a good time. Of course, I, you know, I had things out on the corner like balloons and flowers and some other things so that you could find where to go. You know, it was very much a party and fun atmosphere. Anybody, anybody? Okay, you guys, have a fantastic day. Be fabulous.